Have you ever wanted a button right to your pricing or contact section? We're going to show you how to do that using the scroll to element feature in your website builder. It's real easy to click and go anywhere on a page. You'll learn how to name any element, link directly to it using buttons, text, or even images, no code or CSS needed. We're also going to talk about steps to send your visitors exactly where you want them to land with a simple scroll link from the navigation menu. Let's get started with the basics because you've probably used this before without even realizing it. A scroll link, also known as an anchor point, is when someone clicks a button, image, or text wow. and it smoothly scrolls them down or up the same page to a specific section. It's not loading a page, it's just jumping to a part of the page you've already built. Super helpful for long one-page sites landing pages and sections like pricing, frequently asked questions, practice forms, or a back to top button. These are often used on modern websites to keep things clean. It gives users a shortcut to what they're looking for and reduces page clicks. You've seen this on sites like Apple and Spotify where you click a button and it scrolls you to the right place. That's a scroll link in action. We do this by using a built-in action called scroll to element. And I'll show you exactly how to set it up, no coding needed. Let's go into your websites. The first thing you wanna do is go into sites and select your website. We'll go ahead and select the homepage for this example. When you're working within a website, it's really good to name your sections. The first thing you're going to want to do is click on any element you want to scroll to. This is usually a section, it could be an image, or it could be a button. What I like to do inside the software, when you select your sections, let's say this particular section, I want to call this section pricing. So let's go ahead and name this section pricing pass plans. And you'll see it labels it right here in that section. You can also label specific things like this is your dinner pass. You see it says first column here. You'll want to call this dinner pass. And you'll see right here that's labeled dinner pass. And this column, let's label it lunch pass. So now we've got a lunch pass and a dinner pass saved. I'm going to scroll back up here and go to this button right here. Let's say we wanted this to go to the lunch pass. I'm going to call this lunch pass button homepage and you'll see right here it just labeled that again what you're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and it's going to show you a section called button actions when you select the button you'll see open pop-up website url hide and show elements scroll to element this is the magic piece we want once you select the scroll to element you're not quite done we need to tell it where we want it to go we're going to say check out our lunch path and what we want to do is go to the lunch pass element that we just named watch as i select each section it's guiding me down the page showing you exactly what the name of the sections are so we named ours the lunch pass it's a little bit harder to go which column is where but when you can find the name of the section that you just did and you'll see in purple right there it shows lunch pass let's go ahead and select that now it's going to scroll to the element of lunch pass. We're going to go ahead and click save. I believe it already automatically saves. Let's select publish. Let's open up our page and see if it takes us to the lunch pass. Check out your lunch pass. Let's click it. And there we go. It took us right to the lunch pass. Now you could do buttons, images, any element on the same page that you're working on. So for example, if you were all the way down here, and we wanted to change a button at the bottom and we wanted to scroll back up the buttons and the images and the scroll to element only work on this page so you want to make sure that you put those elements in the correct areas on the same page this is really popular when people just want to have a one page website but they want to keep you on one page and the page could go on forever so in which case you'd want a back to top button maybe a frequently asked questions and buttons along the way to guide the visitor throughout that page 
My best tip for you here is to make sure that you name your elements, whether it's section elements or column elements, which are the purple ones, that's what you want to name. Here's a button element. This will be orange and that will show you your elements. These are the elements we're talking about. It's really helpful to go through your site and name your elements into sections, your paragraphs, and your individual elements. When you name your sections, your columns, and your elements, it makes it a lot easier when it comes to setting up your scroll to element. It's so much easier to find. There's lots of column ones, there's lots of headlines. You see how that can get confusing. Using the simple step by naming your sections, your columns, your elements, it makes it much easier to utilize your scroll to element. I'll do this one more time. Let's say we're at the bottom and we want to say back to top. What did we name our first section up here? We haven't named this section. It's called section. So let's call this hero section. That's commonly called your first section of your website. So we just named it hero section. Well, let's go down here. Let's go to this button. We'll call this back to top, back to top. And right here, we're going to go right into our scroll to element. What were we looking for? Our hero section. We named it, so it made it easier to get to. So we'll go ahead and save, which automatically saves. I'm going to select publish. We're gonna go into our website one more time. We're going down this massively long page and now we wanna go back to the top and there it is. It took us right back to the top. Now that you've got your scroll links working, let's talk about where to actually use them. These work great inside of your software, website, or even those long funnel pages where you want your users to move smoothly down the page. Here are some of the most useful ways to put them to work. Jump to pricing, add a C plans button at the top, and then scroll to the plan section. You can scroll to a contact form, a calendar, or back to top. You can scroll to specific features or bullet points based on your website. You can even add a lead magnet scroll. Maybe you have a downloadable form with a get my free guide. Another commonly used option is frequently asked questions. Now we want to take a quick action step. You may want to pause the video and create a one page website that feels like a full website. Above the fold scrolls, call to action. That's up here in your hero section. Add a call to action. Maybe you have a store and you want to shop by category. So you've put in things like breakfast, lunch, or served all day. As you're building out your funnel or website, Think about where users might lose focus or feel stuck and give them a scroll link to keep them moving. Now let's talk about the navigation menu. The navigation is the top part of your website. This is what drives people to different pages if you have a variety of pages here. If you're making a single website page, but you wanna have it feel like they're going to different pages, your navigation menu is a great way to start. I'm gonna show you what I did here with this pricing plan. I added the pricing plan right here into the menu. Now let's scroll down. These are the pricing plans. If you're trying to go to a page on the website from the navigation, it's best to select the section. We're gonna call this the pricing pass plans. So you'll see right here, pricing pass plans. When you click on the advanced, you're going to see what's called a CSS sector and a little button where you can copy it. I'm going to copy that button and I'm going to go right back up to my menu. I'm going to go to my pricing plans and inside my pricing plans, I'm going to put in that section to take us right there. When I hit save or submit, let's go ahead and publish. Let's go ahead and preview what happens when I click the pricing plan. It took me right to the pricing plan. Now I am on the same page. Let's go to a different page. We're going to go to the contact us page. If I were to go to any other page or have a separate page, that would not work. That only works when you're using one single long page. So how do I create a navigation menu that will take them to a new page. Let's go ahead and go to the contact us page. So I'm gonna go back out here. 
I'm going to select the contact us page. This is not the home page. If you're creating a navigation menu with multiple pages, we need to go to this page. Let's open up our contact us page. And there's just a slight thing you need to do. So here's my contact us page. We want to take them to the contact us form. Notice it's a little further down the page. So I'm going to select this green section and we called it contact us form selection. Let's just call this contact us form. And then we need to go to the advanced sector and make a copy of the CSS sector. Now, remember I showed you if you do the menu here, you can easily add an item. We can do new menu. We can call this contact us and where it says website URL, you can just put in that spot and hit submit. There it is. That would take you to the contact on that page. Now we want to take it to another page. Let's go back home and I'm going to go into the home section of this main navigation menu. We're going to go to the contact us section. I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to show you exactly what I did. We're using a samplebusinessdomain.com. The page we want it to go to is the contact page. So it says slash contact. We want it to go directly to the form. All you do is add in your website, forward slash the page that you're doing, and then right here, I'm gonna hit control V, so it'll be forward slash your page URL, contact, and then copy the code right there. Make sure you have all of that correct in here. Now, if you're saying, okay, why wouldn't I just put it to go to a page? Because we want it to go to that specific scroll to element or anchor point on that page. So I'm gonna select submit. Let's go ahead and publish. Let's preview this. I'm on the home page now, but I wanna take them to the contact us form. Click the contact us and look where it took me to the form on the contact us page. They bypassed all of this and went right to where we wanted to take them. So just a quick recap on the navigation menu scroll setup. If you're just doing the same page in your menu bar, you would select your page, select edit, and put in your CSS section right there. If you have multiple pages and you wanna go to a specific spot on another page, put in the full URL of that page and then make sure you put the section. Just remember to go to the little three dots, select settings, and you'll see right here, it's your website or slash contact. If you wanted to take them to a different page, just go to the settings and you would see your forward slash. When you paste in your sector, it'll be the number sign, the section, and the number that you pulled from the specific section under the advanced in the CSS selector code. That right there is what you'll copy. So whether you're creating a single website page and you want to have all kinds of scrolling to elements, paragraphs, or section, or you want a navigation menu that goes to a specific section on a specific page, remember, it doesn't go to the element, it will go to the section. So you want to make sure you put in the section to take it to that page, not an element on that page. The section is what works. So make sure you get the green section ID to put inside your menu URL. Ought to be a section. If you want to do a scroll to element on the same page, you can do any section in the green. You could do any row or column and any specific element on the same page. It's important that you understand the difference between the two. Scroll to element is one of the easiest ways to improve your user experience on landing pages. Just name it, link it, you're done.